We do one with large cards so you guys in the back can feel like you have a seat in the front row. There you go. <laughs> I pulled these cards out the other night and there was a drunk in the back of the room and said, hey, look at that little guy up there with the cards. <laughs> that was me, huh? Oh, that was you. Oh, you're, you're back, aren't you? All right, okay. Now I'm going to tell you a story using cards, rhyme, and wit. Yes. Yay. Wit? <laughs> wit? <laughs> Composed by myself, and that is no shock. That doesn't rhyme, I know it doesn't, but we're going to have to go along with it anyway. Here we go. This is the story of two gals and a guy, a soap opera of sorts. Now let's find out why. The first two of three were husband and wife, a king and his queen for most of their life. Now he called her Edith, and she called him Stan. She was his queen. And Stan was, was her man. man. Don't you love it, man? It's poetry. Kind of brings a tear to my eye, I'll tell you what. Now the king, he could smile, but the queen, she could not. For it was child they wanted, but could not be got. Ah, the king was potent, virile, well made. <laughs> Twas the queen who was sterile. You see, she is spayed. <laughs> Neutered, gelded, fixed. It's a veterinary term. Stay with me. Ah, the king yearned a son to carry his name, and soon it was Edith he started to blame. <gasps> the fighting, the yelling, Edith could take it no more. She called Stan a bum, and his mistress a horrible person. <laughs> That's what it was, kids, why well, you're a horrible person. She knew about Kate, all right. Oh, yes, a lovely young lass, with a face like a queen and a firm, shapely ankle. <laughs> nice ankles, huh, man? She's a little... A she's a little clubfoot, but she still still dances well, and that's important in a marriage. What's he talking about? <laughs> Twas Kate the king lusted, but still loved his queen, and so a threesome they became with the king in between. Ooh. Sounds like an Aspen story. A, a true Aspen story, folks. Yes, indeed. Welcome to the mountains. Okay. The King Stan Trio, they came to be known. Oh, uh, oh sure. Now you don't like it. But a king with two queens would be rocking the throne. You see, lust and greed don't mix well with fate. And soon, it was Edith who lusted for Kate. Oh, yeah, now you're awake in the back row, huh, pal? Yeah, you were not out a minute ago. Now you're awake. Two queens in love soon sent Stan away. But the king, he returned. He wanted to play. Thanks for noticing. They refused him quick, sent him back outside the walls. And should he return? They would cut off his Gosh. hand so he couldn't open the door. Take the hand. That'd be my choice in a pinch, you know what I mean? Take the hand. You got three. I can still live a full and fruitful life with one hand. As long as it's my right one. Have you been peeking? All right, here we go. Stan was persistent, though. He wanted to play, and so he snuck back once while Kate was away. A fight soon broke out. Edith screamed, yelled, and hissed. Not to mention the king. Boy, was he pretty upset. <laughs> <laughs> but Kate would return, much to Edith's delight. But what of King Stan now? Nowhere in sight. Ah, two queens in love, rather happy, quite gay. <laughs> Congenial, convivial, friendly, happy, helpful. Gay. gay. But not so the king had not had his way. So what is the moral now, the lesson we learn from Stan, Kate, and Edith, and the tables they turn? Well, I told it to Stan, and now I'll tell it to you. You see, you can't have your Kate. Oh. And Edith, too! Yeah! Woohoo! What a long way to go for that gag, huh?